Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this ball revealing motion graphics animation in After Effects. Now it's very easy to create and you can use it to reveal anything. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we'll begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main width and height 19, 20 by 1080, rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. So first we are going to create our background. So right click new and let's add a solid. You can make it whatever color you want. On this one, I'm going to apply gradient ramp. So let's search for it and drag it over here. Now on this one, we are going to change a couple of these things. So first I'm going to place this over here and this endpoint over here so that we have this sort of gradient. Now let's change its color and I'm going to make this little bit dark gray sort of like this. And this one, we can just lower it down. Now I'm going to select this point and let's just move it far away so that we have something like this. Now you can see that we have this light coming from an angle. Again, you can play around with the colors to however you want. For this one, I think these are looking fine. Now, in case you are able to see some bending over here, then you can just switch to the 16-bit color per channel, or you can also apply a noise effect. So let's search for noise and let's drag it over here. Now uncheck the use noise color and just set the value to something like two or maybe once like this so it will get rid of all of the bending and all now first i'm going to add my text so for that you can select the text tool now just simply click and it's completely up to you you can pick whatever font you want i am using this montserrat black font so let's type learn and i'm going to just place it to the center using the align panel again if you are not able to see the align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it i'm going to select this press ctrl d and let's type my second text and i'm going to duplicate this one more time and let's type the third text perfect so here we have everything now i'm going to just simply move them far away and let's place this one over here and this one we can just place it like that so you can just place it however you want now after the text we are ready to add our shape so for this one i'm going to select the circular tool ellipse tool and now you can just simply click and drag hold on the shift key to create a perfect circle like this now we don't want fill actually we want gradient so just click on this fill and i'm going to select this fill option and if you click over here you can see we have a bunch of different colors to choose from so it's completely up to you, you can pick whatever you want in case you want to add more colors then you can just simply click and it will add a indicator and you can have more colors as well but for this one i'm going to use these three colors so just click on ok now, if I select this, you can see that we have these handles which we can use. So I'm going to just place this one at the corner and this one we can just move it to the top so that we have this very nice highlighted edge and we have some darkness over here. Perfect. So here we have our shape. So before we continue, if you enjoy my content and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So if you want to support me, make sure to check out my Patreon page. Link for that is in the description. So let's continue. Now, in order to make this more interesting, we can add a little bit of glow to this. So right click, go to layer style and let's add an inner glow. Now let's go inside the glow properties. First, I'm going to change the color to white and let's increase the opacity to 100. Now let's go over here. We have the size. Now you can play around with the size to make it however you want. So something like this, it looks good. Now the brightness is too much. So I'm going to just lower this down to something like that. So here you can see we have this very nice outline, something like that. Perfect. So I also want to have a little bit of drop shadow over here to really sell this out. So for this, we can again select this right click layer style and this time I'm going to add a drop shadow. Let's open the drop shadow property. And over here, I'm going to increase the opacity to 100. And after that, you can increase the spread. Now let's increase the distance as well. Since our light is coming from this way, so our shadow will be at this angle. So I'm going to play around with the angle to just change it like that. Now you can play around with the spread to make this however you want to make this light. And after that, I'm going to just play around with the opacity to make it look something natural and something like that looks good. Perfect. So here we have our ball as well. 
now our next step is to animate everything so for animation it's quite easy all we have to do is just simply create two null objects so one is this and on this one i'm going to parent this ball so let's parent the ball and i'm going to create one more null object and on this one i'm going to parent all of these text layers so let's just parent them like that now i'm going to select this null and let's press p for position and let's add a keyframe and in the beginning i'm going to just move it to this side so that this is not visible like that now we can move to somewhere around four seconds and i'm going to just move across the screen so that all of these texts are moving and just place it something like here so here you can see we have all of these texts moving and we can tweak this further by selecting the keyframes press f9 now you can go to the graph if your graph looks different make sure you are using the speed graph and over here i'm going to just play around with the curves to something like that i don't want anything extreme so if i play back you can see we have this sort of thing and i think this looks perfect so we have everything for the text now our next step is to animate the ball as well so for this we can simply select the null object and i'm going to press p and let's add a keyframe for the position now i'm going to move it over here and in the beginning i want to come it from this angle something like that let's move these closer now you can select the keyframes press f9 now if i play back you can see that we have this ball coming in now we can play around with the curves as well so let's just tweak this further and i'm going to just change it to like that so that we have this ball coming in and after that i don't want it to remain stationary and i want it to move like up and down so that we have this ball moving motion so for that i'm going to select the ball layer and press p over here let's add a keyframe now let's move a couple of frames ahead and i'm going to just move it to the top like that and again let's move a couple of frames ahead let's move it to the bottom like this let's move a couple of frames ahead and we can just move it to something like here and at last i'm going to just move it across the screen so let's place it over here and i'm going to just move it to the center of this composition and at here i'm going to just move it outside the frame like that so now if i play back you can see we have our ball coming in and our and after that it moves and we have this sort of animation so in order to make this look nice we can easy ease everything so now if i play back you can see we have this ball and still we have to work around on these so let's quickly figure out first i'm going to increase the distance and now let's play around with the positions so i'm going to select all of these let's go inside the curves and i'm going to just make them little bit like that so yeah i think this is looking a little bit better and at the end i want this to be a little bit faster so we can just go inside this and i'm going to increase this slope so that it goes out very fast like that now it's completely up to you can play around with the distance between these keyframes to make this smoother something like that let's move this further away so yeah, i think we have our look and our last step is to reveal the text or whatever logo you have so it's actually quite easy all you have to do is just simply import your logo or text whatever you want i'm going to import my text so let's type mn for motion nations and let's just place it over here and i'm going to just place it below the shape layer something like that now in order to make this appear we are going to create a solid layer so right click new let's add a solid and you can just make this red for now let's click on ok and i'm going to press t to lower down its opacity now on this one i'm going to apply linear wipe effect let me just quickly open this up so let's just simply drag it perfect now if i increase the completion you can see that it is coming from this side but actually i want it to the opposite so i'm going to just set this to negative 90 now we can play around with the completion to make our logo reveal let's go to somewhere around here where we have this 
perfect so at this point i'm going to just move it so that it's somewhere in the middle of this ball now let's add a keyframe for transition completion now you can hold down shift k and press page down to move 10 frames ahead now just play around with the transition completion so that it's always somewhere in the middle of this ball let's again press shift and page down and now you can see that it's completely out of this frame so i'm going to do the same thing now you can press u to see the keyframes let's go to somewhere in the middle just to check the animation so you can see that now it's not following the ball so i'm going to again make it over here and let's go to somewhere in the middle of these two keyframes and again i'm going to just add a delay like that so you can just manually move it something like this just to see what we have created so yeah you can see that now the transition is following the ball perfect now we can select this press t and let's set the opacity to 100 and i'm going to just simply place this on top of our logo which we have over here and i'm going to select this and i'm going to change its track mat to alpha mat again if you are using the older versions of after effects then this option will be changed so you can just simply update it to the new version or you can just simply search on internet how to do the track mat in older versions so here you can see now we have everything so if i play you can see we have our ball and it comes in and after that it reveals our logo perfect so this is how you can create these kind of animations and the best thing is that you can use whatever you want so you can have images coming from the screen you can have text whatever you like and all you have to do is just simply move this ball across so this is how you can create these kind of animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.